He dressed like a clown to make children laugh. But behind the face paint was a man who tortured and murdered. He was John Wayne Gacy. Is this real life right now? This is going to be a crazy one. The Joker is known to be a very intelligent mastermind criminal who is a psychopath who never seems to be caught. He has a very sadistic sense of humor, and so do a lot of people on this list. Well, how's it going, YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalitzing, and welcome back to a brand new Most Amazing Top 10 video. I think I'm looking a little bit uh, Christmassy right now. The holidays is, uh, it's coming. It's snowing right now. <laughs> and if you guys aren't a part of the Most Amazing Family here on YouTube, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We are super close to hitting 6 million subscribers and we think we can do it before Christmas. So I just want to say thank you to every single person who subscribes to this channel. It means a lot to us. Alright, let's get right into this video. Let's get into this list. This is the top 10 real life criminals scarier than the Joker. Psychopathic Ted Bundy terrifies us first on this list at number 10. A very well-educated, charming, and handsome man. This is how some people used to describe Ted Bundy. Well, that is until they discovered that he was actually a brutal serial killer on a murderous rampage. He could have had a bright future in politics, but there's only one problem. He was responsible for the deaths and abductions of approximately 35 women over the course of about five years. He stalked and killed women that looked like his ex-girlfriend. He kidnapped a bludgeon and strangled them to death. He even performed acts of necrophilia on the bodies. He used his wit and charm to break himself out of prison, and not just once, but twice. I don't believe any of us thought that Ted Bundy would be able to stop killing. It was of serious concern to us that his desire and need to kill was growing while he was in jail, and that compulsion was going to be acted out soon. But ultimately, he was executed by the electric chair in 1989. Dennis Rader breaks onto this list at number 9. He is a serial killer from America who murdered at least 10 people in Kansas. He is known as the BTK Killer. We've talked about this guy many times on this channel, and he was given the name because of the way that he would murder his victims. BTK stands for Bind, Torture, and Kill. After he killed his victims, he sent disturbing letters to the police and the media boasting about his crime. He created a hit kit, which was a briefcase full of items that he would use on his victims such as guns, tape, rope, and handcuffs. Ratter would strangle his victims until they lost consciousness, and then he would revive them only to strangle them again. He would repeat this pattern over and over again, and then do some other pretty disturbing things. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison where he is currently still serving time today. Number 8 brings us to Pedro Alonso Lopez. He is a very notorious serial killer from Colombia who was responsible for murdering more than 300 girls across South America. He would lure them into you know, secluded areas or inside abandoned buildings where he would viciously assault them before brutally killing them. I don't want to go into all of the gory details, but I think we can all agree that he was definitely not a saint. He later confessed to over 300 murders, but the police only believed him when a flash flood uncovered a mass grave that contained a lot of his victims. Eventually 53 bodies were discovered and he was ultimately sentenced to life in prison. Dr. Harold Chipman slices his way in at number 7. He was a trusted doctor who was well respected in his community. However, his colleagues didn't know the dark truth about Dr. Shipman. He was responsible for up to 250 murders. Is this real life right now? He would inject fatal doses of a drug into his patients, which would quickly lead to their deaths. He forged their wills so that he can inherit large sums of money, and he put in cremation requests so the body would be destroyed and no one would be able to trace it back to him. A judge sentenced him to 15 consecutive life sentences, I mean fair enough, and recommended that he was never released. Well, Dr. Shipman hanged himself in his cell back in January of 2004. The chessboard killer is in at number six. Alexander Pishkoshkin was given the nickname a chessboard killer because he was obsessed with the game the game of chess. But as it turns out, he had an even darker obsession that involved killing people. By the time that he was arrested in 2006, he had already killed at least 48 people in Russia, but he planned on killing way more than that. His goal was to get to 64 kills, one for each space on the chessboard, and his killing progressed. His attacks got even more savage. But he would leave broken vodka bottles sticking out of some of his victims' skulls, and he didn't seem too worried about hiding the bodies. 
He began killing at 18 years old when he invited one of his friends to go on a killing expedition. They began walking around trying to find someone to kill, but when it became clear that his friend was no longer interested in killing someone, Piskushkin decided to kill him instead. Now at number five, we have a Jack the Ripper. This guy right here. And yeah, he's in black and white. It was in a situation where we're like, oh, we're just so lazy right now, we can't find an image. Let's just slap this one on there. But yeah, it's black and white because he might be actually the first ever famously known serial killer, but we actually don't know who this guy was. So he was given the nickname Jack the Ripper. This is what he might have looked like. Jack the Ripper terrorized London, England. He would murder his victims, which seemed to be females, and he would remove their internal organs. This unknown man didn't just remove these organs. He did it in a way a surgeon would do it. It is believed that this man had anatomical or surgical knowledge, so was it a doctor roaming around the streets killing people by night and trying to fix them up in the daytime? Who knows, instead of Jack the Ripper, shouldn't he have been called like Doctor of the Night or Doctor Strange? Oh wait, is that, is that a movie? <laughs> Doctor Strange. Moving into number four, we have Jeffrey Dahmer. He might be one of the most intelligent people on this list. He had crime spanning for three decades, and killing people doesn't even bother him. I desensitize myself to it. I, 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 uh... I don't know, I went to great lengths. He is pure evil, but you'd never know it by looking at him. But when you hear him, that's another story. Jeffrey murdered people in his 20s. He murdered from 1978 all the way to 1991 without being caught. And he was sentenced to 16 terms of life in prison. He actually passed away at the age of 34 years old by another inmate who thought this guy was sick. This right here is Christopher Scarver, the man who became famous for murdering Jeffrey Dahmer. And now he is in the history books for killing one of the most famous murderers of all time. Scarver is currently serving three counts of murder and he was sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. And at number three, we have the Zodiac Killer, who always finds a way onto our list, but we have no idea of his identity. Who the heck is the Zodiac Killer? Is it you? Well, we might never know the answer. We have a picture of what he might look like. Here it is right here. It looks like it could be many different people. This person had crime spanning in the 60s and 70s, and it is said that this person killed up to 37 victims, but that number could be much higher since we don't know who he is you know we can't get a lot of information about his murders and it's been decades since the murders and even with all the technology we have today we still can't figure out who this person was the zodiac killer even left taunting cryptic messages but we still can't figure out what he was saying next up number two we can't have a list without a famous american cult leader who may never have killed someone himself you know with his own hands but he is responsible for the death Deaths of multiple people. Yeah, you guys probably guessed who I'm talking about. We're talking about Charles Manson. Charles Manson was convicted of first degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Originally, he was given the death penalty, but that was later commuted to life with the possibility of parole after the death penalty was abolished in California. He has passed away in prison at the age of 83 years old. Charles Manson is known to be a very terrifying psychopath and has very similar tendencies as the Joker. Tell me in a sentence who you are. Nobody. I'm nobody. I think that is just the creepiest thing that I've seen all day. Well, one person who is scarier than Charles Manson and the Joker himself, I would say is our next guy at number one. This right here is John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy was an intelligent American serial killer who murdered at least 33 teenage boys and young men in a span of just six years. This took place in Chicago back in the 70s. He actually buried 26 of his victims' bodies in the crawl space of his own home. Imagine buying that house and finding all of these bodies in your crawl space. Gacy he was quickly sentenced to death and spent 14 years on death row and then he was executed by lethal injection at the Stateville Correctional Center back in 1994 at the age of 54 years old. Gacy was only 30 years old when he started murdering people and who knows maybe he could have been much younger than that. Gacy was all over the news when he was finally caught. When this whole thing is over you might be witnessing one of the most horrible crimes perhaps Oh, and get this. 
He also went by the nickname of The Killer Clown or Pogo the Clown. Well, there you guys have it. This is the end of the video. I was your host for this one, Landon Dalitzing. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video. Oh, I, need, I think I need a Tums. Oh. <laughs> the cheese board killer yes. is the ch how did How did I read cheese board? <laughs> Alexander Pushkoskin was, <laughs> was that wrong? P push hush <laughs> on our lists on these. Who always finds a way to find, who always finds a way to make. <laughs> ah, ah, man. Ah. That this man had some an, 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 an anatomical. Anatomical. An, huh? Anatomical. Anatomical. An anatomical. It is believed that this man had an anatomical. Anatomical. <laughs> I've been talking so much today. Anatomical. <clears throat>